Hey guys, what's going on? Um, what I have here for you guys is the video made by Grolvana. Now, he does some Skyrim content that I know that you guys will enjoy because um, the vast majority of my subscriber base um, is here for Skyrim and his videos are actually very, very well done, high quality, very, very informative. And it does things that I used to do back in the day, so I know for a fact that you guys are going to like it. Um, what I need you guys to do, if you guys like the video, please go ahead and uh, follow the link in the description. Check out his channel if you guys like it. Subscribe to him. He's an amazing guy. He does amazing content. And you guys should definitely check it out. Um, here goes the video. Be nice, guys. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Grovana. Welcome back to our unofficial Skyrim week where I'm showing off some stuff in the Dragonborn DLC that I think you guys would enjoy to see. Uh, first we went over Old Salty, then you guys saw the visage of Masund helmet, and um, then we went over Lord Tusk. And today we are doing probably, I'm going to go ahead and say the, the best bow in Skyrim history. Um, this thing is just totally cheap and you should see why in a second. First I'm going to go over where to get it. Um, it's called the... the Dwarven Black Bow of Fate. So, like I said in the other video, there's three uh, Dwarven Ruins in this game. Nachardak, Falbathar's up here, which is where you get the visions of Masund, and Kagrimis. So, when you enter Kagrimis, you should notice there's a thing in the middle that allows you to put little gems in uh, nine different slots. I believe it's nine. Um, but you only have two when you go in there, because you get two off of a bandit that's around it. Um, and you need four in total, and there's five in this DLC. You need four out of the five to complete this uh, Dwarven Ruin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead really quickly and go over where you get these four out of the five. So like I said, two can be found in uh, Kagrimiz as soon as you enter it from the from the bandits. One you get at the end of Falbathar's, but it's a really it's a really long dungeon, so just be prepared for that. One you can get in the Chardak. I don't know exactly where it is. And by the way, the one in Falbathar's, it's it's right at the end. You can see it right next to the helmet when you pick it up. I don't know where the one in the Chardak is. I do know there is one in there. Um, that's the one that I don't have. Um, so you might want to look that up if you're going for that one. But you will go to the Chardak during the course of the main story in this DLC. So you just you'll probably want to go for that one. And the last one can be found um, from a merchant by a Silstrider in Telmithrin. He's kind of like right here on the map. Uh, you should hear the calls of the Silstrider. He sells the last one. So basically, once you have four out of the five gems, and here's what they look like. Let me show you really quick. Kagrimiz Renaissance. Renaissance. Kagrimiz Resonance Gems. As you can see, I have four here. These are what they look like. And basically, what happens is you go into um, Kagrimiz. You look at the lock gates. They'll have like um, a description of where you need to place these four. Like first it's two, then the next gate is three, and then the next gate is four. And um, the first gate has a dwarven spider that you can use as a follower. The second gate has a, like the, I forget what they're called, but the guys that are on the balls, you can have him as a follower. And then the last gate leads to the dwarven black bow of fate. So basically, like I said, you need four out of the five gems, and then you can get uh, the dwarven black bow of fate, which is going to be this beauty right here. Now this thing is probably going to be the best bow in all of Skyrim history. Now I haven't gotten all the bows, but just based on using this, I mean, it, it like one shots most people. And if you can't read the description, basically it says it has a 50% chance for each attribute to absorb 25 points of health, stamina, and or magicka. So if that sounds confusing, basically what that means is every single arrow you fire using this bow has a 50% chance to absorb 25 points for each attribute. So what that means is if you shoot one arrow and you're really lucky you could absorb 25 points of all three attributes just off that one arrow and usually what this means is it's an insta kill it seems to activate all the time and it's really really cheap and it's awesome and also i don't know if it's unique looking um i'm guessing it is because i never use dwarven stuff um except for the arrows but uh, it looks unique to me, but it might be similar to a dwarven, a regular dwarven bow, but I think it looks pretty cool. You're about to see me equip it so you can judge for yourself. So basically, I'm going to use it on these people of Skull Village, sorry, um, and just show you how cheap this thing really is. So we're going to go ahead and equip it, and as you can see, you can kind of see it right here. I'm trying to put it in the light. Um, it's got like these little like like markings on it and it looks really cool again I don't know if that's unique to this bow or if it's the same thing as this dorm bow but enough talk let's kill this guy so insta kill insta kill I don't think this guy can die but just in case no, I missed. insta kill insta kill 
wrong. This is I hate. This is so weird when this happens. It's like there's like a glitch with um, with the slow down effect, like the slow down perk, and for some reason it like slows down everything for forever. I don't know. It's weird. So insta kill. Freaking Reikling spears suck as arrows. But as you can see, yeah, I'm, I'm insta-killing everybody. And if you watch my other videos, you probably notice that that does not happen usually. Now, these people might just be easy to kill because they're just, like, regular, you know, people. But, um, normally this would not happen. Like, this this bow seems to be very, very, very cheap. So, if you're looking for something like that, definitely go for it. Also, also it's a, uh, you know, it's just a great unmarked quest to do. Um, so, yeah, so that's basically the Dwarven Black Bow of Fate. As you can see, I'm standing over, like, a billion bodies here. This thing is crazy. Um, and I'm definitely going to be equipping this because I'm using arrows now. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe if you want to see some more Skyrim stuff. Because tomorrow I'm doing a, another video, and I might even continue making Skyrim videos for a while. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Grovana, and I hope you have a great day. And I'm about to kill Bold War Iron Shaper in the face. Uh! Oh, you can't die. Well, then you get... Oh, you can't get pushed either. Alright, whatever. End the video.